You're awake. Come, let us speak. Zamarak is pleased to see you are awake. You have slept for many days, and this one feared the worst. We both were. The caravan that brought us to northern elsewhere was attacked by the great beast. Luckily, the adepts of Starhaven witnessed the- A humble adept, nothing more. This one was exiled from his home long ago, but felt the time had come for him to return. That is not a tale that Zamarak wishes to tell. Not right now. Besides, the Grand Adept wants to talk with you. Best not to keep... Greetings. This one is Majadro, Grand Adept of Starhaven. He is glad to see you in good health, Traveler. It is not every day that one survives a dragon attack. Bright moons must have blessed your path. You were carrying the letter when we found you. It looked important, so we left it where you could find it. But how do you feel, Traveler? Let us test your strength then, yes? Though this one is now Grand Adept. <laughs> Not here, of course. This is no tavern brawl. Collect a training sword and meet this one outside in the gardens. Take up one of our training swords and meet this one in the gardens. This guy is warned of a changing season. Can you see it? Majadro can think of no better. Let us begin. Strike, Majadro. Very good. Solid strike. Sleek work. You strike well, but can you guard? Now, block quick. Strike while this one is off balance! What a powerful blow! Again! Strike with force, Travis! A brutal hit! Shield yourself! And once more! Such masterful strikes! But what if you are in distress? Now break free of this one's trap! Here comes another trap! Get ready for another! Again! Press your advantage with a heavy attack! Quickly now, stop this one's strike! Again, stop this one's attack! When your enemy charges their assault, strike! Interrupt their attack and punish their hesitation! How good it feels to spar with a student again! 
Come now, let us continue to the Adeptorium. Wait, did you hear that? A dragon! Look out! You must help the other adepts. Take the passage through the catacombs. This one must go one Zamarak. Another corpse for our army! How grand! Thank John and George you arrived. Well, 
It looks like you've certainly recovered from your wounds. And the soldiers said they were searching for something, but they barely gave us any trace. Yes, this one heard its terrible voice, like something out of a moon singer. Atop the tower sits the dragon horn, said to ground dragons with one mighty call. Though Ijadi is not sure if the legends are true, it is our best hope against... Then you must exit the catacombs and follow the path north. There, you will see the tower. This one cannot... Even dragons proud to queen your axia. Nothing but old bones here. What a waste of my time. We burn the whole place to the ground. The dragon may be subdued, but not for long. This one fears for those inside the Adaptorium. Then Zamarak and the Traveler will go. You should take this chance to escape. Let us be quick then. The beast locked up. Fools!
asleep. Let us leave this place before the beast returns. Why did the dragon flee? It was called away. This one heard its name on the wind. Balok Dam. Called away? Do the dragons work together? Perhaps. At the very least, this dragon seems to have allied himself with the Euraxians. Then the rebellion has begun. Yes. This one is afraid it has. Come, traveler. Let us speak. Thank you for saving Majadro's disciples. You have a courageous spirit. It will do you well should you decide to stay in elsewhere. And this one does hope you decide to stay. The Khajiit need heroes like you during these dark times. And only more to come, this one fears. Before you leave, you should speak to Zamorak. It seems that he's also decided to leave us. And I... Walk. One more thing. <laughs>